Hello students today we are going to learn chapter 2 computer languages so first of all what is a language a language is a medium to express our views and feelings so if we want to express our views and feelings what we use we use a language so what is a language a language is a medium to express our views and feelings to others now let's talk about computer language to communicate with a computer we need a language as we are the humans we use hindi or english as our language and the computer use only zeros and ones that is binary language so our language is different and the computer language is different then how can a human talk to the computer this is the question the answer is using the computer languages so some languages are java c c++ python fortran basic these are the examples of computer languages using which we can talk to the computer a computer needs stepwise instructions to perform any action now see children what is a program a program is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do so if we want to make the computer work according to us what we give we give it a set of instructions and that set of instructions is called a program the process of writing instructions in a computer language is known as programming so when we make programs that means we are doing programming so c c++ these are what these are programming languages using which we make a set of instructions to make the computer work children let's know more lady ada lovelace a mathematician is regarded as the first computer programmer now let's see what are the kinds of computer languages the development of computer languages has been classified into the following categories first one is machine language second is assembly language third is high level language and the fourth is fourth generation language now let's talk about machine language that was used in first generation so as you know in first generation development was very less so in those days machine language was used machine language is the only language that the computer understands it is expressed in binary form that is zeros and ones where zero means off state and one means on state so at that time we use this language that is the computer language or binary language computer can easily understand this language but we can't understand this language at the time we used to write the programs in this language only it has the advantage of very high speed and very low memory utilization so if we write the programs using the same language which is understandable to the computer will be at very high speed and it takes very low memory also then what is the problem problem is that it is very tough and learn to learn and a very time consuming process it is very difficult to write and debug programs in machine language it is a machine dependent language machine dependent means the programs we create using the machine language is going to work on the same computer on which it was made so if we take the program to the other computer to other machine then the program does not work there so we can say this language was tough to learn time consuming and machine dependent also that's why it was regarded as the low level language in earlier days this language was used but nowadays we can't use this language we have developed now now in second generation what development was made assembly language assembly language uses mnemonic codes or symbols in place of zeros and ones for example if the operation code for add is 0010 in binary language it can be directly written as add in assembly language since 
assembly language uses symbolic codes. It is easier to work with assembly language than in binary language. As it is evident that a computer understands only machine language. So assembly language programs have to be converted into machine language by a translator program known as the assembler. So the program which convert your assembly language program into machine language is called assembler. A program written in assembly language is called the source program whereas the program converted into the machine language by the assembler is called the object program or object code. So we can say assembler converts the source program into object program. Now note this assembly language is also machine dependent. This means it is also machine dependent. It also works on the same machine on which the program is created and it is also time consuming. Since only we can use some symbols, so it is also regarded as the low level language. Now see the third generation. More developments were made. Now in third generation we use high level language. The restrictions in the usage of machine and assembly language prompted people to develop a language with the following features. This language is very easy and user friendly. It means this language can be easily understood by the user. This language is machine independent. As uh, we were using machine dependent in first and second generation. Now we are machine independent. We can make a program at a machine and we can take it anywhere. Any machine and that program will work there also. A large number of people started writing computer programs using these third generation languages. This language is quite similar to the English language. And the examples of such languages are C, C++, Java, Basic, Python, COBOL, Fortran, etc. High level language programs need to be translated into machine language by using the translator. And the translator is used to convert a high level program into machine language. See children, there are two types of translator programs. First is interpreter. It translates the program line by line, executes the instructions and then repeat the procedure for remaining instructions. If any errors are found, they are removed immediately. As the converted form is not stored anywhere, so it has to be generated at the time of the execution of a program. Interpreter programs are preferred for beginners and are slow in execution speed. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose the French president is visiting India on an official tour. In an order to understand each other, both the French president and the Indian prime minister would require an interpreter to translate French language into the English language and vice versa. Similarly, in computer, interpreter is required to convert high level language program to machine level language program. Now, next is compiler. Compiler is a translator program used to convert a high level language program into machine language. It translates whole program at once. That means it generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors. The execution speed of a compiler is faster as compared to an interpreter. Now we will talk about fourth generation languages. The fourth generation languages are closer to human language than any other high level languages. There are some features of fourth generation languages. Fourth generation languages are highly user friendly and independent of any operating system. Very high speed of execution designed to reduce the level of programming efforts. Minimum efforts from the user to obtain any information. Designed to reduce time and the cost of software development. In fourth generation language, the user has to specify only the required output they want while the computer determines the sequence of instructions that will accomplish 
those results. Now, let us briefly sum up computer languages and their features. Machine language uses binary codes to depict operators and data. It is machine dependent, the only language directly understood by a computer. Next is assembly language. It uses mnemonic codes or symbols instead of binary numbers. It is machine dependent. Has to be converted into machine language by translator programs called assemblers. Next is high level language. It uses English words or mathematical operators. It is machine independent. Has to be converted into machine language by translator programs, interpreters and compilers. And the last is fourth generation language. Machine independent. Minimal user skills required to obtain results. Application development tool. Let's know more children. In software development, beta release refers to a product or a technology which is still in development but released only for testing and evaluation purpose. 